Good morning, Drippy Spoon South School. My name is Brady England. This is your Tiger Sports Report. I know I've been gone a while, but it's okay. I'm now back. Boys Tiger Soccer won in big fashion, winning 6-0 against Herondale in their first round of the playoffs. Good job to them, and let's go far this year. Varsity Girls also won, winning 4-0 against Wagner, and they move on to second round as well. Varsity Baseball won 12-2 against Lanier, while the girls won 6-1. Great wins for both teams. The tennis team claimed second at last week's tournament, very good to them. And a huge congratulations to the powerlifting team, who saw Miracle Gray and Jenny Venegas both get sixth place to the girls in state. And on the boys' side, they finished third with Ian Venegas claiming second and Juan Rios getting first place at state and both smashing school records. Congratulations to them both. This has been all your Tiger Sports from last week. This week's upcoming events are Monday, golf, varsity boys and girls at the district tournament at Morris Williams all day. Tuesday, baseball versus LBJ at home, JV at 5 and 9th at 7.30. Baseball varsity away at LBJ at Nelson Field at 5 p.m. The lacrosse club, girls varsity at versus Stony Point at the middle school, not the high school, at 7.30. And the boys Tiger soccer playoff game will be versus Wynn at Herondale High School if you want to come out and support them in the second round of playoffs. Softball versus Crockett High School at Garrison Field, JV at 5.30, varsity at 7.00. And tennis varsity at the District 25 5A tournament at the University of Texas at Austin. Wednesday, tennis varsity at the District 5A tournament. It's a two-day tournament. And track and field district champion championships varsity and JV at AISD Burger Center. Thursday, JV softball tournament at home, lacrosse club, boys varsity at St. Michael's at 7. And Friday, baseball varsity versus LBJ at home at 7 p.m. And softball versus Lanier High School away at Noack Field number 4, JV at 5.30, varsity at 7. And that's been all your Tiger Sports news. Now for TNN. I'm Megan. And I'm Christy, and today is Thursday, February 6th. Now here's some extra information on the Student Council Matchmaker Survey that was taken on Tuesday. Good morning, Dripping Springs High School. Today is Monday, April 1st, and this is your Tiger Daily News. If you're a performer in this year's Lip Dub, it is imperative that you fill out the Google form on practice dates. Talk to your club representatives if you are unsure where to find it. Practices are starting on April 2nd and will continue into May. If you do not attend the practices, you and your club will be cut. Fill out the form and watch remind announcements on upcoming practices. The final deadline to order the 2019 Tiger Cry yearbook is Friday, April 5th. No extras will be ordered. There are also a limited supply, so make sure to visit Balfour.com to reserve your copy. There will be a list posted outside the counselor's office if you want to see if you've already ordered. If you have any old sports equipment lying around, bring it to the boxes outside the counseling center. Every two items you bring gets you one hour of community service. This includes bats, gloves, cleats, shoes, and whatever you have. Everything is going to help local athletes in DSYSA and ends on Tuesday, April 9th. Attention all dating violence mock trial seniors. The Jacks Garner Scholarship is still accepting applications, but the deadline is soon. All applications are due April 13th. You can pick up your application outside of Miss Watts' room, D115. And now we're going to Rick for, for some very special news. Take it away, Rick. Thanks, Ricky. This has been your Tiger Daily News. Thanks for watching and have a great day.
One small issue.